Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. Sunshine Shoulders is a channel geared toward the new man and woman who's never been to the Philippines before, who is contemplating a trip here for slow vacation or to rejuvenate. My 11 years of being affiliated with the Philippines doesn't make me an expert, but it does give me a unique perspective, and I like to offer that to the new man and woman or anyone really who can make your trip here safer and more enjoyable. I'm boots on the ground. I'm in the center of all of this. It's for your benefit. I'm not on the edges like a lot of these other vloggers that you hear talking about the Philippines. I live among the locals, and I'm always going to give you the nitty gritty. That's just exactly what I'm seeing, what I'm living, what I'm experiencing. I'm never going to sugarcoat that. I'm not going to start today. Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. Special welcome to my new subscribers and new viewers. I really appreciate you stopping by today. I just wanted to talk about some things that I think are going to be pretty interesting for the new man and woman who's never been here before, especially the new man. Uh, and the first thing is, you know, dried fish or not to dried fish. That is the question in the Philippines. And see, Filipinos are going to be mad at me because I'm going to let you in on a secret, guys, the new guys. They're not going to break that dried fish out until they already know you're in love, you've already signed the visa papers, and more than likely, she's in the United States. Then they're going to break out that dried fish, and man, are you going to be shocked. Are you in for a treat or a trick? Whichever, I got to say that once I got past the smell, you know, me being from Kentucky, it just tasted like country ham to me. But I tell you what, on a scale of 1 to 10 on the funk meter, it's an 11, man. And I tell you what, I can't even tell you what even comes close to this dried fish and the smell. I mean, it's just a putrefied, funkified, nasty, rotten smell that, and that's why they don't pull it out on you immediately. They would never do that. When you first come over here for the two weeks, they're never gonna pull that out. You're not gonna know anything about dried fish. She'll eat it at, she'll go home and eat it, and you know, but once you're in love and she's put it on you real good and you know, the ink is dry on the contract. Yes, yeah, she's gonna pull it out, and I tell you what, it's been the cause of more uh, arguments and separations and tempo than anything else that I can recall over here in the Philippines. Because I tell you what, I'm trying to think of some things. I don't know, you know, my ex-brother-in-law back in the states, he had. He suffered from schizophrenia, and man, he would come over to our house and take his shoes off. He hadn't taken a bath in probably two or three weeks, and his feet would light up the house. You know, that sweaty, funky, nasty smell of feet, you know, that haven't been washed in three weeks. Well, that's probably about a six on the funk scale, but this dried fish, it's an 11. You know, I don't know if you know what chitlins are, but that's probably like a three on this scale. Uh, a rotten egg that has been in an old refrigerator for a year or two. Nothing on this dried fish, man. And you just got to make the decision. You know, like I said, they're not going to tell you about it. They're not going to break it out. They're not going to eat it around you until you're firmly in her grip. Then they're going to slowly pull it out, and you're going to need a gas mask. I mean, I'm just trying to be real with you. It's going to cause a lot of chaos and confusion in your house because they love it over here. It's something they can't do without. Even when you take them to the States, they're going to buy it. They're going to have people send it to them. You cannot separate the Filipino from dried fish. And... Uh, She's going to try to make deals with you. Hey, can I fry it outside? Uh, you know, and then you're going to say, okay, go ahead. And then it's going to come back in and the smell is going to come back in the window. It's just, 
it's pretty, pretty bad, this dry fish. So you gotta make up your mouth right away. You know, two dried fish or not two dried fish? That's the question in the Philippines. So I'm just wanting to get ready for it. And I know the Filipinos are mad at me. I've told you their secret. You'll never see it in the beginning because they're gonna put on their best uh, acting job, their best performance and dried fish, they would never pull that out. If, if, you, if your Filipino pulls out the dried fish the, the first couple of days you meet her, man, you got a gem right there. I would tell you to marry her and take her home because she ain't trying to hide nothing, but it's coming, guys. I'm just warning you about it. Uh, something else that came across, um, you know, my screen today, and this is really funny. Uh, I was reading the Manila Times and, you know, the there's going to be a COVID-19 vaccine available in the Philippines pretty soon. It's not going to be from Pfizer or Moderna. You know, that you know, they're negotiating with them, but they're saying that that may never make it to the Philippines until 2022 or 2023. But there's going to be one here really, really soon. They didn't disclose the name or the country, but the trials have been going on in Dubai and Abu Dhabi. And a lot of Filipinos that work over there, they've uh, been part of the, the trials and they haven't had any nasty side effects or anything. But one thing that did, uh, one side effect that did develop out of the trials was older men uh, regained their virility. So this vaccine has a Viagra side effect. Okay, now, now that, now you want to get people to take that vaccine because you know a lot of people are skeptical about taking that vaccine, especially the ones who really need it, the vulnerable population, which is the older people. But if you tell them that and they know that that's a side effect of it, I don't think you're going to have any problems. I think uh, they're going to be lining up to take that vaccine, but it's coming really, really soon to the Philippines. They're going to actually beat the United States and Europe with rolling out their vaccine. Okay, so, you know, that's some good news, but it was kind of funny when I read that today. They wouldn't disclose the name, they wouldn't disclose the country, but I'm almost sure it's either Russia or China. I mean, what other country could it be that's going to, you know, those are three main companies that are trying to develop uh, the vaccine, the United States, China, and Russia, but it has this Viagra effect. So yeah, you're gonna see a lot of old men lined up to take that shot, you know. Uh, so that's something good. And this is kind of kind of a serious matter right here that I just want to talk to the new man, or really anybody about if you're dating or married to a Filipina. And this is this. This is just my take on it from from watching them for 11 years. Is you know, Filipinos are bad with money. You know, they're bad with managing money unless. It's in their survival mode, which is what they're used to dealing with their whole life. That's the only time they're really good with money, but when they meet you and you start putting more money into their hands, I mean, that's a quick way to, to go bankrupt. Now, I know the guys are going to say, they're going to get me and say, oh, my wife's the exception. Yeah, you're right. She's the exception. The rule is they're terrible with money. Guys, look, if you don't want to go bankrupt over here or in the States, you handle that money, okay? Doesn't mean you gotta be stingy, but you give her the money. You pay all the bills. You manage the money. Because you're gonna date and, and, and marry a Filipino who's probably used to dealing with four or five, six thousand pesos a month. Now all of a sudden, you know, just the average salary in the United States, just say, you know, minimum wage, just say $15 an hour, $600 a week, $2,400. you are talking about 100,000 pesos a month, man. You put that in our hands, it's like you going from, if you're earning 50000 a year, now all of a sudden you marry somebody and they give you a budget. They say, okay, instead of 50000 you get 500000 a year now to deal with. You know you're going to do some stupid stuff. You're going to buy all kind of crazy stuff. 
that nice car you've always wanted, you know, jewelry. You're probably going to do a lot of stuff, you know, that's uncharacteristic of you. And that's what the Filipina's going to do, man, and that's what she does. I've tried it, man. I've given them every opportunity possible to prove themselves. And over and over again, they failed. I mean, I gave my woman, I said, well, here is 2,000 pesos, you know. Let's just see how far you can go with this. Man, it was gone in one day, man. They just not used to it. Because in their man, just like in your man, when you get that big raise, you've got more money in back of you. So you're going to take risks. You're going to buy stuff you normally wouldn't buy. And that's what they do over here, man. Listerine. They know they're not used to using Listerine over here. Pancake mix, peanut butter, and wheat bread, and, you know, the fish that they normally when they go to the market, they're usually trying to uh, finagle somebody for that 100 peso uh, per kilo fish. Now it's, she's spending 280 uh, pesos per kilo and buying shrimp and just all sorts of crazy stuff that they normally wouldn't buy. See, for 2,000 pesos, man, that would normally feed a Filipino and her kids for the whole month. Because she's going to buy a, a, a bag of rice and vegetables, which they call gulai over here for the rest of the month. You know, but now, you know, hell, you're probably going to give her 2000 a day. I mean, and she's going to bankrupt you, man. So I'm just giving you some advice. You don't have to listen to me. I'm not an expert, guys, remember. But all the mistakes that I've made have become my secrets, and I pass them on to you. And that was one mistake I made, putting that money in the Filipinas' hand. Don't do it. You manage it. Now, if she wants to work over there in the United States, or if she's working over here, and you say, okay, you do whatever you want to do with your money, but with my money, I'm going to manage it. When it's time to pay the bills, let me pay them. You know, because, you know, she's got a motorcycle, man, and I tell you what, man. I didn't even know it, man. The motorcycle's like three months behind. And I'm like, you know, what are you doing? I got money to pay that, you know. So we paid it. Today, you know, it's the kind of stuff that'll drive you crazy, man. You know, it's just, you know, they're great procrastinators, man. And it's just the way they do business over here, guys. So don't put that money in her hand to manage. Yeah, give her money. Say, here, honey, you know, go out and spend it any way you want to. You know, buy you this, buy you that, buy your family this, buy your family that, buy the kids this and that. But as far as for the bills and uh, your everyday living expenses, no, you better do that. And if you don't know how to do it, well, you're going to be up shit's creek, brother, because she don't definitely don't know how to do it. You're going to put in her hands 20 times as much as she's normally handling, man. It's going to screw her up. Okay, don't do it. It, it. it will screw you up the same way. She's no different than you. You're going to go from earning 30000 now all of a sudden somebody says, okay, now you got 200000 to spend every year instead of your $30,000 a year job. Now you got 200000 Man, you're going to do all kind of stupid stuff. You know, your jury will have jury. So that's just something to think about, guys. You know, I always try to, you know, help you. Like I said, sometimes my vlogs are entertaining, sometimes they're inspiring, sometimes they're motivating. But most of the time they're informative, man. It's to help you. I'm not here for likes and subscriptions and all that stuff, man. You know, that would be nice because I'll never get rich with money doing this. But I'm rich, man, because I love to do this, man. I'm living a life, man, that I really never knew existed now. I'm in the fourth dimension. And of existence, man, and, and I'm having a great time. So thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you're in America, you sleep. So I'm speak to you in subconscious mind when you get up in the morning and you go out there to get your cup of coffee or your morning newspaper and you see somebody on the street, buy them something to drink. Buy them something to eat. Give them a couple of dollars. If you're in the Philippines, it's about 2 o'clock. You still got time to find somebody. Please find somebody to help before your head hits that pillow tonight. Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. We help other people, we help ourselves. Take care, stay safe, stay COVID-free, and I'll see you next time.